This video is all about a flagship hatchback from Tata Motors, the Tata Altros. So this car over here, what we have is a top end automatic variant. Uh, it's a 2023 model. Under the hood, you get a 1.2 liter three cylinder Revtron engine, which produces 86 bhp of power and 130 newton meter of torque. You get electronically adjustable side mirrors. You get 16 inch alloy wheels, which looks stylish. And you get a keyless entry. Inside the cockpit, it looks decent and the color combination, the color contrast is decent. It doesn't look too odd. The dashboard finish looks very fine and neat. It actually gives you a premium look. You get an automatic start-stop button and a decent instrument cluster. And you can barely uh, notice that the vehicle is on because the insulation is so well done that you can uh, barely feel the engine noise. Uh, I don't know how it feels when you're going out on a drive but in stop still, the engine feels very silent, very uh, calm and uh, you get a DCT variant here. This particular car is a DCT variant and uh, so you also get a dead pedal so you can rest your left leg which is of no use when you're driving an automatic. In the current uh, new 2024 model, you get DCA variant which is the dual clutch automatic. So the AZs are powerful enough, you get an 8 inch uh, system here. The audio quality is top notch in every Tata car because the system is from Herman. And you also get a very huge glove box which is also cooled glove box. And you get uh, this small trays here where you can keep your glasses or may small tins. So you get a nice little sunroof. I am 5 feet 8 inch tall so for me the headroom is decent enough but I think uh, drivers who are uh, 6 feet 4 inch tall this might be a problem for them uh, especially when you close the sunroof uh, window then I think it would be a problem for them. The steering feel is good and the steering looks decent uh, but it looks little outdated especially uh, this Tata logo over here. Uh, it looks little updated because you have a lot of premium touch and the other part of the cabin but then uh, this particular thing, uh, the cheap plastic over here, uh, it just spoils the look. Apart from that, uh, even the instrument cluster looks decent and you have tons of features to explore from and uh, you also get a 8 inch display over here which is decent and uh, intuitive enough so you also get Android uh, Auto and uh, uh, Apple CarPlay in this car. Coming to the boot, so you get 365 liter of boot space. As you can see, you have ample amount of space to load your luggage. And if that's not enough, you can also fold the second row of seats. So you get a lot of space to load your stuffs. But this car, I don't think nobody buys this car to load their luggage or stuffs. Maybe when they are traveling somewhere, yes and you get a decent enough of space to serve the purpose. So now it's time to hit the road and let's see how it feels to drive this machine. And uh, the very first thing what we are encountering is the normal public roads. So there is no road and we are literally doing off-roading. Tata is really famous for its rigid body or maybe a heavy gauge uh, in the body panels and it also has a better drive quality when it comes to off-road the Tata suspension uh, almost all the cars they have very good suspension so I feel that even in this car the suspension is so beautiful that I can hardly feel the bumps if you can uh, focus the road it's, it's actually an off-road but the vehicle uh, doesn't move around a lot or it's not too bouncy. The suspension is in between so you get a better drive quality. And usually in this road when I used to drive uh, the other cars, especially the Swift or uh, maybe a Balano, uh, it used to end up uh, you know, uh, scraping the ground, uh, especially the front lip. 
but then in this car the ground clearance is also well managed and the wheel articulation or the suspension the way it behaves is really good so the suspension is tuned for indian roads uh, hence you get a better drive quality so now we are done uh, with the bad patch now it's time to hit the tarmac so let's see uh, how it behaves so since it's a dual clutch transmission okay first the transmission is so smooth the switch between first to second gear uh, is very smooth and uh, the rubber band effect because i own a hyundai uh, uh, grand i10 neos uh, in that particular car i feel the rubber band effect but in this it's barely noticeable so the transmission is uh, butter smooth so first to second second to third you you can hardly make out the shifts in this car so but then uh, uh, this car is not uh, aggressive uh, i mean this car is not as aggressive as an i20 uh, or an i10 as well uh, because the engine is very calm it 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 uh, loves revving in a smooth way not uh, you know you cannot push this machine and if you push it you can uh, hear the engine noise uh, the engine literally screams and the one more thing the majorly noticeable uh, point is that the steering feel it feels so good because uh, i drive uh, hyundai uh, none other cars uh, can give me the same uh, steering feedback or the feel what a uh, hyundai does but then uh, tata proved me wrong because the steering feedback or the steering feel is very good and uh, the car pivots very sharply uh, if uh, i can compare it with any other cars then i would compare it with the volkswagen polo but yes it's not as sporty as a polo or uh, uh, the performance is not at all there uh, but then the way the chassis behaves uh, is very sharp you can do sharp turns easily and uh, even the quick maneuvers quick overtakes uh, needs very less effort even in a bad patch of road you don't have to compromise on the uh, ride quality because as you can see i'm going through a lot of uh, bad patch but still the vehicle is stable if it was a uh, swift or if it was any other suzuki then you would have danced so now let's see how the sport mode work or the manual mode works so here you go engine is very noisy like if you maintain a higher rpm you can hear the engine sound maybe from miles apart but yes it's it's uh, sporty enough not too sporty uh, but then if you want to uh, just go on a highway rush then i think once in a while you can have fun switching it to the manual mode I really love the suspension. So, uh, yes, in the sport mode or the manual mode, uh, the gearbox is very responsive. The engine is not uh, that refined or like the engine screams when you rev it hard. This car is not meant for uh, sport driving. Uh, because this car is meant for your everyday commute um, especially for those corporate uh, people uh, who needs a stylish car uh, which looks premium which drives good and uh, which is an automatic then for them this car would be the right choice because the styling is unique in this car because uh, if you see other cars you get the same design language but in this especially in tata ultros it stands out in the crowd because the design is unique and tata has really done a great job uh, to bring this car into this shape you get a 37 liter fuel tank and tata claims the mileage to be 19.5 uh, kilometers per liter but in city uh, as far as have driven today uh, it gives somewhere around 11 kilometers and maybe on highways you can easily expect somewhere around uh, 15 to 16 kilometers per liter uh, 
given that you are going in a decent amount of uh, speed and you are not pushing the engine too hard you get almost all the features which are there in a top end variant so in this model you get sunroof you get automatic headlights and there are tons of features which you get in almost all the cars but the only uh, downside of this design what i felt was the a pillars because they obstruct your vision in few instances to sum it up you have 52 different options in tata ultros to choose from and you get seven different color variants if you are looking for a stylish car to fit the urban jungle and which is reliable and from a indian manufacturer then tata ultros might be the best choice but then uh, the feedback what we hear regularly is the servicing network the tata servicing network is not that great if it is sorted then this would be the best buy